Senator Whelan. Thanks very much, Cahirlock. I would like to take the opportunity to welcome the Minister to the House uh, to address this important issue. I look forward to hearing firsthand from him uh, the, the, the measures that the, the government and the department are taking to ensure optimum measures and every effort has been made to ensure the safety and well-being of the Irish UN peacekeeping mission in the Golan Heights. I'd also like to acknowledge the Minister's own personal interest in the matter. I know that from speaking to members of PD Fora. They are grateful to him for the interest he has taken at all times in their issues and in their concerns and indeed attending their conferences and I want to uh, acknowledge that. Uh, Minister, this is an issue that is uh, particularly poignant for me and near to my own heart as, as my own father, uh, Paddy Whelan, served with the UN peacekeeping mission in the Congo in 1960, which was one of the, uh, the first missions embarked upon by Irish uh, peacekeepers. And for some of them, it turned out to be a tragic tour of duty and, the, and the lost, they gave the ultimate sacrifice in the service of their country and peacekeeping. I had the privilege uh, two Sundays ago of attending a memorial service, the 10th anniversary memorial service organized by the UN Veterans Organization post-27 in my hometown of Port Leash, uh, which I think is a very important organization, Minister, and I would urge you at any and every opportunity to ensure that the Department of Defense and the government assist and support the efforts of the UN Veterans Organization because they do play a vital role in maintaining links between army comrades and colleagues and supporting people uh, in many, many ways uh, as they adjust to civilian life and get on with their lives. And I think it is a very important organization. And as, we, as, as, as Senator Mooney has said, we saw joyous uh, reception for the families who welcomed home the, the, the members of their family from their tour of duty in Syria last night at Dublin Airport. And it's a, always a great relief for families when the soldiers return home safely. And I think it's important, Minister, that at all times we keep in mind the families who remain at home and that we offer any supports and uh, uh, guidance and counselling uh, both to them and the returning soldiers because they are being exposed in this ravaged and war-torn part of the world to some horrendous and barbaric deeds that are just too horrific to continents and even to contemplate. I've read some of the things that they have been confronted with. No person should have to bear that. And it's certainly something that I think they would find trouble, you know, uh, trying to cope with. And it's important that it's not just, you know, military support they need and not just equipment but also, as I said, you know, post-trauma counselling and psychological services and supports and medical supports at all times because it cannot be easy to come back to their families and their homes after wit witnessing such harrowing, harrowing uh, scenes. And it is the Irish peacekeepers in the Golan Heights at the moment are in a most particularly invidious situation as they're surrounded by warring factions virtually on all sides and the threat and danger can come at any time uh, from any side. You know, uh, we have a proud tradition and a proud reputation worldwide dating back to the Congo and Cyprus and the Lebanon and Kosovo and Eritrea and so many other far-flung lands. And we are to be grateful for the courage and commitment and the reputation that the Irish Defence Forces bring with them when they wear the blue beret. So I would uh, commend you, Minister, for your, your own efforts, and indeed, I would like to acknowledge the efforts of Minister Coveney in establishing and seeking assurances around the parameters and conditions in which the Irish peacekeepers are operating, and that uh, that support should not stop once they return home. It's not just on the battlefield or in the dangerous terrain that they need our help and support that they and their families need continued support from us 
and from the, the, the state and the department at all times. Thanks, Minister. Thank you,